Hi everyone, Ricky Hayes here in another video on why you should be an entrepreneur. Let's go. You like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and follow me on Instagram, guys. Now, why you should be an entrepreneur? Okay, I the reason that I actually got inspired to do this is this is a bit different to my normal just sort of pure value videos, is uh, basically because there is a lot of negativity in this community. Uh, the, the, the worst thing about being an entrepreneur is, is that everything is under the scope, okay? Uh, including myself, you know, like including myself, uh, I get a lot of negativity from various people and, you know, I watch YouTube videos and, and I see that for the most part, it's mainly focusing on the bad because the reality is the bad is what captures people's attention because fear gets people to take action, right? That's just marketing for you. But why why you should be an entrepreneur? Let's be a bit positive in this video. So let, let me just tell you why you should be an entrepreneur. And the, the main reason, and really the, the only reason, is, is that you want time freedom. Now, that can mean everything. I'm not gonna say that it means that you can travel, it means that you can this, it means that you can buy a sports car or a mansion because that's completely up to your discretion at the end of the day. I can't control how you feel, how you are, and, and the position that you're in, and that's why I say time freedom is really the, the core. You know, if you wanna spend more time with your kids, or if you want to um, travel the world, whatever, at the end of the day, that's, that's your choice. For me, mine was actually just um, primarily just getting into something that I found quite fulfilling. Now look, there's fulfilling and then there's stressful. It is stressful. Uh, I'm, I'm always tired and I am stressed uh, because I, I work too hard and I take things too much to heart. And that's, that's just me because unfortunately I just care too much. But my point is, is that you should do this. It's, all, it's a journey about you and, and what you want to achieve from your version of time freedom. So that's why you should be an entrepreneur. Whether you're doing... Uh, drop shipping, whether you're doing a brand store, what the hell, Where, whether you're doing mentoring, selling courses, whatever form of entrepreneurship that may encompass, it's important that you remember that this is about you. Okay, guys, this is a, a hard but fulfilling journey. Where, the way I like to look at it is in another 10, 20 years when I'm still doing this, regardless of my financial position, I want to look back and at least be proud that I tried, okay? If I look back that I started in October 2017 through till the nearly the middle of January 2019, in just under 18 months, I've, come, I've changed my life dramatically and I went from being constrained by the hours of the nine to five to now whatever I want. Um, at the time of recording this, I actually just got a, a sudden blast of inspiration because I was watching some YouTube videos, just a few I just watched, um, and I thought everything just focuses on the negative, um, and I've noticed that myself. And you know, when you when you follow the negative, of course you're just going to get negative feelings, aren't you? And so I thought, how about I do something a little positive? Um, and I like doing these videos because. The, it's important that we acknowledge that regardless of where we are in our journey, whether we've literally just started today, whether we've only just heard about it today, uh, through to making hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars, it's important to acknowledge that time is the real goal here and that we should be proud of ourselves. Every day being an entrepreneur, you overcome hurdles, you overcome battles. Uh, so you win battles, pardon me, um, and you combat your doubt, okay? Uh, combat doubt and procrastination. I would say those are the biggest things for me uh, that I constantly find. Um, you know, I'm trying to sell my course more, do more mentoring, you know, do do more um, stuff for clients because I enjoy that because that's, that's a different approach but I'm always presented by different hurdles along the way. And, it, and it's and it's hard, you know, you need money to be able to live this lifestyle. It's the reality of the, the construct of our society that you need money. Money speaks louder than everything. And that's why what I always emphasize on is it's not who has the most money, it's not who has the most assets, it's, it's about you having the money that you do have to achieve the happiness that you deserve. And and that's what I think is really important 
is, you know, let's all make 2019 a very memorable year. I'm not going to go and say, you know, irresponsible stuff about, you know, make enough money to buy a Lamborghini. I've seen enough YouTube channels where that that seems to be the, the core way of getting actually people into their channel. Again, that's not for all channels, but it seems that that's, that's the way to do it, to motivate people. But I prefer to motivate people through a more realistic approach. This, this is not an, an easy business. Um, it's not an easy approach, but it's very fulfilling. And you should acknowledge that regardless of your failings, failing, the, the only way to learn is through failure, okay? Um, I, I fail all the time. Uh, as a number of you may have attended my my webinar last week, that was my first one. I'll be honest with you right here, right now. I was super nervous about that. Uh, I've done all these YouTube videos, but that's just me basically going ad lib and discussing a various topic, whereas I was doing something a more constructed sense, uh, and and it was ner it was nerve wracking. But actually, as I got into it. I got more comfortable and I enjoyed it more and I'm quite proud of that. Although, you know, I didn't get insane results, the rea reality is I did it and, and I'm proud of that. Funnily enough, the part that I actually remember the most about that was, uh, you probably can't see it, but there's my door just over there and uh, I, I wanted to, I get distracted easily, so I try, I remove my phone, my keys, um, anything that would possibly distract me from providing uh, doing the best webinar I could and I put it in my bedroom and uh, I shut the door and the door actually now is uh, partly broken because I locked the door because what actually happened was I locked myself in my room okay uh, to this day I don't know many people that have managed to actually lock themselves within their house uh, so I, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh at that and uh, shit you not that window just there I had to climb out of my window um, luckily I had my back door unlocked because uh, my partner was at work and uh, parents were away so I had no way of contacting anyone to try and actually get inside my house uh, which is sad but you can't help but laugh at that that's one of those unexpected unexpected experiences in life that we just love the other thing that's important so we've covered you know it's about time frame and freedom it's about and it's also about acknowledging who you are and your accomplishments we always acknowledge who like our failings and i do this a lot it's a bad habit but it's important to acknowledge what we've achieved as well okay and so like when i say that me for 18 months 18 months is a long time if i'm gonna say that that's not a long time it, it, it's a lie 18 months is a long time especially if you don't enjoy what, where your current position in life is um, so I look at that, that I've been incredibly fortunate to have been able to have the experiences and meet the people that I have and be able to get to where I am. And that's why I want to make the second point about being proud of your accomplishments. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging that you're not perfect. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes every day. It's about acknowledging that you're doing something to put, put reposition yourself to where you want to be. And you should be proud of that. Okay, guys, you should be very proud of that. And third, treat yourself. You know, like why we want to be an entrepreneur is you want to treat yourself. For me, okay, just a little story. For me, I am a huge fan of these following things. Chocolate, cheesecake, curry, specifically Vindaloo curry, uh, if anyone's wondering. Um, cheese, and I, uh, there was another one, but I've completely forgotten. But the five C's is what people, my friends and that know me as because I am a foodaholic. Uh, funnily enough, I'm lucky that I never put on weight. <laughs> but uh, my point is, is that my treats for me is literally food. Uh, if you buy me a block of chocolate, I'll be your friend. If you buy me a packet of chips, I'll be your friend. I don't care for the expensive things in life. It's the small things in life to me that matter. I'm so grateful, okay? So that that's the important thing, to treat yourself. And that, that's my treats, that's my little secret to you. Whatever that treat is for yourself, I know a number of people that they wanna travel, they, they, they wanna buy the car, they wanna, whatever that may be. If you have the capacity to do it and you wanna do it, then do it, okay? You know, treat yourself. The reality is we do only live once, so enjoy it as you see fit, right guys? Um, so that that's the third point um, and that's pretty much the main three points that I would say is is the most important part to being an entrepreneur 
Um, that to me is the most important. Oh, sorry. And lastly, as a bonus, I forgot to add as well that it's about the little things. Okay. So we get so focused on the big things in terms of, uh, it's usually the big things that there's a problem, you know, that there's something wrong or not. Oh, no, no, no. Um, everything's going sour, but that inevitably uh, becomes our attention. But, and that as a result, we tend to forget about the small little things that we've actually done. Uh, for instance, just this morning, um, I uh, figured out a small issue to do with the back end of my of my webinar because that's what I'm pushing more. Uh, that was so blatantly obvious. <laughs> I missed it entirely, and I fixed it. I'm not going to get into technicalities. That stuff's boring. But I fixed it, and I was like, yes, because it's. I have found from my experience that it's actually the smallest things that are the hardest to find. I mean, you think about it, like smallest thing on the floor if it's a little screw it's going to be so hard to find right where the big things you know catch your attention so acknowledge the small things okay guys so that's my point is to you know what this is why you should be an entrepreneur and this is why you should be proud of yourself you should enjoy the little things and you know you should treat yourself okay guys that's really important because regardless of where you're at in your journey whether you're the most successful in the world or you're just starting out, every step that you take is a step that you've made. And I think that's really important because when you're going to be an entrepreneur, the word entrepreneur is both seen as something that, uh, from what I see, is like something sort of like prestigious, uh, which I can't find weird. Um, prestigious, but also very daunting and scary, right? That's what most of us focus on. Entrepreneur is daunting and scary. You think about it, being an entrepreneur, there's no finish line. There's no A to B. It's just constantly you start at A and B is forever increasing. You're going to hit checkpoints along this road, but B just seems to never end, right? It's not like a college degree or, or a nine to five job where you can specifically say that this is A and B. So that's why you know you should be proud of your journey. I try and actually take a diary of of my daily uh, activities now. You know, I have I have uh, a number of things that I do throughout the day, and if I I deem it successful, if I get eighty percent, if I get eighty percent of the things done, it's successful. Okay, I don't expect a hundred percent, and uh, you know, like this month for me uh, to give you an idea has been a pretty average month. One for sales, two things like chargebacks, three just has been all over the place trying to start a new brand store. Uh, and and I've, I've just been in, in the wrong frame of mind. But, uh, you know, I, I still acknowledge that from the start of the month and that, that I've come a long way. I'm learning new things, um, trying new things, you know, like I've got, well, actually the book that I'm reading at the moment in the, my, um, my bedroom. But, you know, like I plan to read this book. Uh, I plan to read this book. <laughs> These are insane books. Um, and... Um, you know, get through those and then I want to do more books and stuff. And, you know, I, I have a checklist of things that I add to my little book every day, which is just this here. Sunday. Oh, I haven't done Monday, have I? Oh, it's on the next page. But, you know, you can see here that I just write that in and it's not perfect, but it's a way of me acknowledging uh, what I've done throughout the day. And there's been days that have been really bad, days that have been really good. Okay, guys. So my point of this whole video is... I just want to end this with be proud of yourself. A lot of people ask a lot of questions. A lot of people are afraid to ask questions. There's no such thing as uh, as asking a dumb question, okay? I really want you to to know that that's really important. You can only learn through asking questions. Um, and you can only evolve that way as well. Okay, guys? So please, please don't get too focused on the negatives. I know that's easier said than done. But please be proud of yourself. You know, um, I, I look at humanity that, you know, whether you're ma a male or female, we're exact same. We all just want our version of happiness. So please just understand, just think about what your version of happiness is and strive for that. Don't, don't get too caught up in all the negatives. Just be content with who and what you are and where you are in your journey. That's what's important, guys. That's how we know that we're, that, that, that's what being an entrepreneur is about. Putting aside the sports, putting aside the prestigious side of it and the the arrogance um, and all of that that comes with it, 
it really doesn't matter because it's about you. And I just want you to be proud of you, okay? Always think you. You're doing this for you. You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for you. And I want you to know that you are amazing, that you are doing this and that you will achieve your goals. You tell yourself that because that is the truth. There is not one human being on this earth that doesn't have talents, that doesn't have the ability to do this, that doesn't have the, the capacity to do this. Everyone can do this in their own way. It doesn't matter if you become the most successful or if you still stay as someone that just takes their piece of the pie. This is about you. This is about being proud of yourself. And this is about achieving what you want in life. And I guarantee, I'm assuming that 99% of us is purely just the ability to be time free. All right, guys. So I do really hope this has helped uh, you all in some regard. Okay, guys, if you did like today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe to today's video. I appreciate you watching. Have a lovely day. Welcome to 2019 and goodbye.